Hey everyone, welcome back and happy, well, I guess I was going to say Sunday, but I guess it's Monday. Weekend's over, witches. Okay, guys, so we're back to talk about some Real Housewives of New Jersey, which is such a relief in the sense that it is not Vanderpump Rules focused. Mind you, I love our cast of Vanderpump Rules. I am living for the cast of the Valley, but right now it seems like everything is about them, so this is really just a nice relief. So before we jump in, you guys know how this works. If you haven't already, go ahead and pop off in the comment section. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell and let's jump right in. All right, guys, so we're going to start off right here with Reality Blurb. Thank you. I love me some Reality Blurb. Oof. Andy Cohen is doubling down on his claim that the Real Housewives of New Jersey is not sustainable amid Teresa and Melissa's ongoing estrangement, and he's reacting to Jackson and Brittany's separation. On a couple of recent episodes of his Radio Andy talk show, the Watch What Happens Live host responded to rumors of a potential cash shakeup insisted that the upcoming 14th season of New Jersey worked and was interesting and revealed if he thinks Jackson and Brittany will get back together. I want to clear something up or want to add a comment that I made that has made some news this week. I don't know when I said it, but apparently I said it to Bryce from Entertainment Tonight, and I don't know when. I haven't seen him since BravoCon, I don't think. After noting that he apparently said that having Teresa and Melissa on a show together when they aren't speaking was not sustainable, and he confirmed he maintains that statement. It isn't a sustainable universe to have kind of two camps on the show, and I think you see that with the Real Housewives of Potomac this season, and that's why a lot of viewers, including me, were frustrated with it. But I will say this. It somehow worked this season. We got through the season, and it worked, and it's interesting. And as I think you see from the trailer, the season is not about Melissa versus Teresa, and I think that's great. So according to Andy, he believes fans want to see Teresa and Melissa continue on the show, despite his questions about the new seasons. They're both, you know, they're both stars and they've both been on the show, you know, for forever. So it worked this season, but I stand what I'm saying for the future. It's not sustainable, but I don't want you to think what I said was me condemning this season. On another episode of Andy Cohen Live, Andy reacts to Britney's Watch What Happens Live appearance earlier this month saying, I thought Britney was very open and I appreciate the honesty. Then after noting that 88% of his Watch What Happens Live audience said that she shouldn't reconcile with Jax, Andy stated that Britney knew that those were the votes that were going to come in. Will they get back together? I don't know. I think they might. As for how they could continue with their roles on the Valley, Andy made it clear that divorce would not result in anyone being axed. He said they could be separated on the show. They could be divorced. Look at Tom and Ariana. The show's about couples getting along, co-parenting, and friend groups. They could also exist as a divorced couple on that show, co-parenting. So yes, he thinks that both of them can still remain on the show. Oof. Okay. Now, Moving on to All About the Real Housewives, Joe Gorga reveals that he maxed out three of Teresa's credit cards to start his landscaping business. Joe Gorga made a shocking revelation about just how much his sister Teresa helped him in order to start his own business after high school. It's no secret that Joe Gorga and Teresa are on the outs. Over the years, the siblings have had their fair share of family drama and ups and downs. However, it wasn't always that way. While Joe Gorga and his wife Melissa often like to paint Teresa as this evil person on and off the series, the New Jersey developer seemed to forget how much his older sister helped him get to where he is today in more than one way. Not only did Teresa pave the way for Joe and Melissa to join the Real Housewives of New Jersey on her coattails and garner much fame and success as a result, she also helped her little brother become a successful businessman and entrepreneur. That success is debatable to some, but in this instance, let's Give Joe the credit he may or may not deserve. That's all coming from All About the Real Housewives. In an unearthed clip of Joe, a clip of Joe appearing on the Unplugged with Araldo and Darren, the New Jersey businessman reveals that he maxed out three of his sister's credit cards to start his landscaping business after high school. My parents couldn't pay for college. They didn't have any money. I started working for a landscaper. Six months later, I opened my own business, and I, I just opened my own business. 
I went out and I took a loan on my sister's credit card, Teresa Gorga at the time. And I said, I, so I said to my sister, I had no one else. And I said to my sister, she just started making it in life. You know, she had three credit cards and I think like 5,000 each. And I said, I want to buy this little landscaping business. And she is my older sister. She backed me up and I maxed out all three credit cards. And I went and bought this, you know, Sanford and son beat up equipment, old truck, 1970 truck. And I went to work. Mm. Joe and his wife, Melissa and Teresa are all set to star on season 14 of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, as we know. But wait, it doesn't stop. Teresa Judice's daughters have celebrated Louis Ruelas's new business venture. Huh. Okay. Well, Teresa is all about her family over on the Real Housewives of New Jersey. Well, most of her family, thank you to realityt.com, newly merged with Louis Ruelas in Marital Bliss, she's now got an even wider nest of Italian birds to guide. Luckily, everyone seems to fit well together, so Teresa's household is currently standing as one for now. Now that he's in, Louis and his New Jersey male counterparts are often filmed together drinking, fighting, holding clutches, and even flailing into pools. When they're not filming, though, their careers are varied. And a few of them have even switched their paths a few times. Now, Louis fits into the ever-changing category, but now he's got one more notch to add to his entrepreneurial belt, an app called Vinny Via. On this, Teresa's daughters just showed up to lend Louis their support. Just for the record, for those who might be curious, Vinny Via, um, to briefly sum up, summarize, it gives off TikTok vibes, which tracks since it's been described as a live streaming revolution where boundaries are shattered, creativity knows no limits, and connections are forged in electrifying real-time experiences. In attendance for Louis' launch and Teresa's daughter, G Gia Judice, who took to her Instagram account, sharing images of herself, her sister Adriana, Louis' son, and even her boyfriend, straight from the event's red carpet, um, she said, Live. can't wait to see what you're all about. For the record, Teresa's other daughters, Melania and Gabriella, might have also been in attendance. However, they are not in any of the posts. Wherever they were, the family is pretty tight, so they're sure that they at least phoned in their well wishes. But it's happening. At least one of Teresa's co-stars showed up to lend support. Jennifer Aiden, obviously, but posing with Jennifer, Teresa wrote, what a magical evening celebrating the launch of Vinny Bia. Feeling so proud of my husband and the entire Vinny Bia team for bringing their vision to life in such a spectacular way. Here's to new beginnings and exciting adventures ahead. I mean, this is a big deal. It's a huge deal. Honestly, with the Real Housewives of New Jersey... And knowing that it's not going to be sustainable, I'm curious how they're going to navigate this year, um, how it's going to play out on camera. But I think it's going to play out in a really positive way. As far as Louie launching a new TikTok sort of like inspired app, I don't know if it'll be amazing and it's going to make tens of millions of dollars or if it's going to be shit. I don't know. But anybody who starts a new venture, it's really, really hard to do. So anyone who starts a new venture, I wish them all of the luck. And I wish them well, and I hope he absolutely kills it. But I don't want to just put this all out there and not ask your opinions. Actually, in fact, I want just the opposite. I want to hear all of the opinions. So before we pop off of here, go ahead and pop off on here and let us know what you think. If you guys have not gotten subscribed, get subscribed. If you have not hit that notification bell, hit that notification bell. And if you haven't smashed that like button, what are you waiting for? I love you guys, and we'll see you so very soon. Bye, guys.